Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious spinach dip. So this spinach dip we're going to make today is a viewer's request and also a favorite of mine. One that I make quite often when I make my pumpernickel bread. And just recently we did an episode for that on Bonita's Kitchen showing you how to make pumpernickel bread and the spinach dip. But right now I'll show you this recipe and you can refer to that one if you want to see both. Okay, so let's get started on telling you the ingredients for our spinach dip. So what we're going to be using is about a quarter of a cup to half a cup, it all depends what you want, of cooked frozen spinach. So you just take that, toss it on into your bowl, and then we're going to add in some more delicious ingredients on top of that. Then toss in about a half a cup of celery and chopped celery into little pieces. Now everybody makes their spinach dip a little different. I'm going to show you the way I make it. That was about a teaspoonful of pepper and about a tablespoonful of onion soup mix and that got a blend of your chunked onions and all of the seasonings in that as well. I'm going to be putting in about a half a cup of sour cream. Let's just scrape it on in there. We're going to be using a cup of mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, whatever you got available. And if you don't want to use um, sour cream, you could use um, Greek yogurt. Just have it that it's the plain and not, of course, not any flavors and some uh, green onion or some whatever green flavor you want, that's not a problem. S scallions, it doesn't matter. And we're just going to mix this together like this. Chives is nice in this as well if you wanted to chop up some chives to replace the green onion. But that's all you need to do there. So you just want to make sure you cut all the ways through just to take off one piece. Now it looks like that I'm just torturing this bowl there, making my bread terrible, but I'm not because we're going to take this dip now and we're going to pour it right on into the middle of this delicious bread. And what you would do then is take the bread itself and cut into little pieces and just put there off to the side around it because this is now you're going to have a feast with this for your family maybe your friends is over and you're having a couple of glasses of wine you put a spoon in there and then to jazz it up you can just put this top to the side because everything is edible you can just cut it up and eat it so I hope you enjoyed this episode today of spinach dip and of course our choice of bread today was pumpernickel bread. And if you as well want to see the bread we use for our spinach dip today, go to our website www.bonitaskitchen.com and you can see our pumpernickel bread there. You can also visit us on our YouTube channel and as well on Facebook. So thank you for joining us once again today for spinach dip and thank the viewers that requested this recipe today from our kitchen to yours. You have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea A journey in culinary Always an open door Benita's Kitchen to yours Benita's Kitchen